Hello everyone and welcome to Cricketing with Delonda. It's me again, Delonda, and it's still the month of October 2021. I am wearing pink. I told you I would have on pink in every tutorial this month. In today's tutorial, I will be showing you how to use Caesar Easy Subly without a mask. When I get to the materials portion of this tutorial, I you will hear me say that I was going to try using the Frisco Craft as my transfer mask, but I ended up not using it at all. So follow along with me throughout this process. There are 12 steps um, in this process from beginning to end. And one of those steps is just gathering your materials. So I know that you'll be able to stay with me. This is what the final product look, looks like, and I am in love with it. So this is um, Caesar Easy Subly on 100% cotton and the color is vibrant it looks beautiful i'm very pleased with how it turned out so without further ado let's head on over and see what materials you will need in order to uh, complete this project the materials you will need for this project or the materials that i use for this project i was connected to my cricut explore air 2. i am going to be using a white cotton it's a heavy cotton gildan shirt it's medium white shirt part that I purchased from Walmart. I'll be using Caesar Easy Subly HTV. I purchased a five pack um, from Amazon and I realized that there's a cheaper um, link and I'll make sure to share that down in the description below. Um, I will be using a green standard grip mat and a Teflon sheet. I don't know if I said that already. I'll also be using um, I don't have the easy subly mask. I am going to try this Frisco craft transfer tape for uh, HTV. And you know, if it works great, we will learn something new together. If it doesn't great, we will learn something new together. I have my heat settings on my Starcraft set to 311 degrees. This is the design that I will be using. I purchased this in a bundle from design bundles. Okay. I am in Cricut design space and Step two on the list says that I should open Cricut Design Space and upload my image. The image that I'm using is the one that I showed you in the list of materials. Okay. Right now my canvas is set to 50% and you can keep yours, you know, wherever you feel comfortable. Um, the next step says to unlock it and resize your image to no bigger than 9.25. So I'm going to unlock it. And I'm going to go from 9.25 to 6.75. And the reason why we're doing that is because that is the biggest Cricut Design Space will allow you to do a print then cut image. Once you've resized it to this size, if this is the size you're going for, go ahead and click make it. Okay. Um, then the next thing you'll do is follow the steps to get yours printed out using your sublimation printer settings. So I am going to click send mine to the printer. I turn on my system dialog and um, I will click print. I always turn on system dialog, I'll click print. And once it gets to my sublimation settings, Okay, um, I will click preferences and I already have my sublimation preset. I will go to more options and turn the mirror image off. So I'm going to uncheck mirror image because when you're using Caesar Easy Subly, you do not mirror your image. So then I'll click OK and then I will allow my design to get printed out. Okay, I have my design printed out. I will let it sit under the heat press for about a minute. Um, I don't, I'm not going to let the heat press down, but I am going to let it just hover to make sure that the ink is dry on the design. I'm not going to press it all the way down. The, the heat will just be transferred to the image. I'll do that for about a minute. I have removed my image from the heat press and I placed it face up on my um, cutting mat. I have my settings on my um, Explore Air 2 set to iron on. I will pull it out a little bit. 
just so that it doesn't um, hit the wall. I have my design cut out. Now I am going to weed it out. Um, I'm nervous. I am very nervous. I have not had <laughs> good success with the Easy Subly. And I don't even want to tell you how many sheets I've wasted. So far, so good. Make sure you know which side to print on when you're using Easy Subly. <laughs> That's what that is. I printed on the wrong side. I dried it on my heat press and then I printed on the right side. I don't like to waste material. So that all that black stuff you see in the background, that's dry ink. Um, Cause I don't, I, I don't waste materials if I don't have to. So what I'm thinking about doing is I am going to go wash my hands because now they're dirty and I'm going to come back, get my white shirt. I'm going to add some heat to it and then I'm going to try to just pick this up and put it on the shirt and not use the um, Frisco Craft. Um, I honestly, I don't think I need it. My heat press is um, heated up to 311 degrees. I'm going to give my shirt about five seconds of pressure. Um, a five, pre five seconds of heat just to um, add heat because that is what the directions say for Caesar Easy Subly HTV. And my paper, it has ink on it. Okay, five seconds, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. All right, I'm not gonna take it off. And what I've decided that I'm going to do instead of um, instead of using the transfer, the HTV, the Frisco craft stuff, I'm not going to use it. I'm going to try to just take the design off of that backing. Okay. I don't want my design to be right there. I'm going to take that design off of the backing and I am going to, um, just try to put it directly on the shirt. That is my plan. Before I do that, I'm going to put a little crease down the middle. So I can make sure my design will be right in the, the middle of the shirt. So I put a little crease down the middle I know that I want to come down about three inches. I am nervous, but we will learn together. I'm just going to try to pick this up with my, with my weeding tool. Let's see if I can do that. So I'll try to just pick it up as one image and not use a transfer mask. Okay, I have it. <laughs> I have it pulled up and, um, and it just left a few small pieces that I don't care about anyway. Now, let me turn you back over to the shirt and I'll show you how I'm going to place it. Okay, I'm just trying to, because this is, look, we are getting ready to learn together.
Okay, what I have decided <laughs> what I've decided to do is use this piece of backing from the ribbons that I used the other night, the heart uh the HTV on canvas canvas. I'm gonna put this on top of here just to protect the HTV and then I'll put my Teflon sheet on top of that. So we will see if um We'll see how that, we'll see how that works out. So. We shall see. These are my fingers. I'm gonna cross both of them. But it worked. Honey, but it worked, honey. Now I can't, I don't know what I've done with the lights, but it worked. That's what you need to know. Let me turn the camera back around. This is the finished product. <laughs> and uh, it's beautiful. And uh, I would totally wear this. So it's, it doesn't feel like... Um, sublimation like if you were just doing sublimation on polyester because you can definitely feel it you can hear it um, but the colors are vibrant I didn't use a mask I just used a piece of backing from the HTV that I had the other night in the tutorial that I just did with HTV on canvas and it worked it worked fantastically without a mask now I know that if I had multiple pieces that would be harder to do but this is how mine turned out with no mask and I love it so hopefully you're able to follow this process I started out thinking I will be using a different uh, mask but I didn't um, and I, I it came out great anyway hopefully you're able to follow this process um, if you have any questions please leave them down in the comments please share your feedback with me tell me what you like what you didn't like um, tell me if you're gonna try it like this all right thanks so much for joining me today and Thanks for watching. Bye.